happy vlogmas right it's november 30th today and what a day what a week what a year what a month oh my god december is here like i can't believe it can you so I am going to Paris tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. with my boyfriend for a four day trip away. Here we are, I've got my Christmas mug from Primark, if you're wondering. It's Vlogmas day one, it's my first ever Vlogmas. Let's do this, I'm excited. Whilst I sit in the mess, which is packing, I thought I'd answer a few of your questions from stories. First of all, someone said boyfriend, he he he, and <laughs> I love this one because I definitely keep that part of my life super private. I don't really share too much about it, but to give you the details, we met in high school and we've been together for almost seven years in January slash February 2023. So a long time and you'll see little glimpses of him here and there on social media, but yeah, he's a very private person. So that's kind of it. We met in school and we became best friends and that was it. The next question is dream life with a question mark. So I guess just where I want to be, where I see myself. And I think that is, you know, working towards being financially free, having my own house, having a family and doing my job, which is social media, obviously, alongside a very successful online coaching business where I can just help as many women as I can and live my dream life whilst doing that. And for me, I just want to travel everywhere. I want to continue with my social media and just get better work with brands like Honor. That would be a dream come true to be one of their athletes. Like that would be, one of the biggest goals for me in terms of social media. So I feel like there's a lot of exciting things to come and a lot of it is also, you know, just not here yet, which is still so exciting. I'm 22, about to be 23 next year and I have a lot and a lot, I have a long life ahead of me, I hope. So I think there's many things I'd like to accomplish and the next step for me after literally just graduating uni this year is starting my coaching business. So that's the next part in my journey and hopefully doing more traveling. How have you grown so well on Instagram? And someone else asked, how does it feel to hit 70K on Instagram? Honestly, it's so weird. And you always think that, oh, if I hit this number, I'll be happy. And yes, it makes you happy, but you're always then chasing the next number. Like now I've hit 70. I'm like, oh, 80, 90, 100. Like <laughs> you're always thinking for the next part that's going to come. So it's never like you hit this number and you'll actually be satisfied or happy because that's definitely not true. Honestly, this week has been a nightmare for me. And basically everything went wrong and I was super sick. So I'm having a lemon hun honey and ginger tea and luckily i'm feeling a lot better so i should be good for the trip to paris tomorrow but on to the next question what are the things you like to do in your free time i love you so much i love you too and <laughs> oh my gosh you know what there's so much that you guys actually don't know about me some of the things i like to do in my spare time currently are reading books i love reading i have read 10 Colleen Hoover books since May. It's now December, I've read 10. And I'm kind of sad because I've almost gone through them all, but hopefully she'll just keep bringing out more and I'll just keep reading them. <laughs> I also used to play rugby, tag rugby to be specific. And I got into the women's Great Britain team, which was super cool, but because of uni and my other priorities, I just put that aside, but it was something I did. And I played in tag rugby for like three years of my life, which was so cool. I loved it. I also just love spending time with my mom. Um, she's pretty much the closest family member I have and we've been through a lot together. So me just doing anything with her is like the best thing ever. And I feel like the only other things I do is go to the gym. <laughs> Basically my life right now is gym and working. So that's it. But yeah, I love just doing loads of things and travel especially. So that's why money is like, it would be great to increase my income so I can do that along the way. 
and I feel like I should have put this on my story a while ago because I knew I was filming it so it's a bit late so there's not as many questions but the last one I'll answer is how do you stay motivated to work out even if it's just three or four times a week in my opinion the main thing of fitness is about learning to be disciplined and motivation as you know it comes and goes it never stays forever and it's not consistent but the thing that can be consistent is you and being disciplined and focusing on good habits like going to the gym the same time every morning for example um, and just making a very realistic schedule looking at how much time you have in a week in a day aside from work and the priorities that you have to get done and then using the time that you have left from the week which always ends up being more than you realize and blocking out specific time each day or week for the gym and you know other healthy habits that you want to start doing but feel like you don't have time for because there's always more time than we realize which is why i love time blocking in google calendar and of course alongside the discipline <laughs> you have to find something you also enjoy fitness is not a chore it is not something you should hate and although you won't be motivated to work out every day you should enjoy what you do and for me i love pilates i love the gym i love yoga i love walking and literally exercise can be done in any form so whatever works for you what makes you feel good and what you enjoy is what you should do and to be honest there are so many more tips i can give you but i feel like that should be a whole separate other video those are the two main things that i think are so key oh and of course remembering why you're doing it in the first place if you don't know why you're doing it then why will you keep doing it and so yeah happy vlogmas day one i am so excited to be doing vlogmas this year i think it's going to be a bit of a messy one because my life is a bit crazy starting especially with the online coaching right now but i thought this is such a fun month to take you along you know me going to paris for the first time moving into my flat doing christmasy things with my mom my friends and then of course boxing day starting online coaching which terrified and excited about all in one go so i'm gonna get packing because this is yeah i've got a lot to do and i'm going for like emily and paris vibes i want to feel cute whilst i'm there so <laughs> i'm probably gonna pack more than i need to be honest anyways i can't wait to see you in the next vlog i hope you enjoy and subscribe to see the rest of my vlogmas Bye, guys.